Good day again to all of you kids. In the previous lesson, we discussed organizing data and presenting it on different types of bar graphs. Now we will discuss how to interpret it. Are you ready to learn again? Set back, just stay focused, and learn more. Carefully observe the graph. The title of the graph is D on second quarter grades. The horizontal axes represent the subject areas, which are English, Mathematics, Science, AP, and Filipino. The vertical axes represent the grade of each subject. English is 85, Math is 90, Science 95, AP is 80 and Filipino is also 90. We can say that Dion is good in science followed by math and Filipino. He has to exert more effort in AP. What is the average grade of Dion? To get the average, add the grades in each subject, then divide by 5 since there are 5 subjects. Therefore, Dion's average grade is 88. Study the bar graph. The bar graph makes use of two variables, the number of males and the number of females. Can you tell how many pupils like lemon juice? As you can see, there are eight boys and six girls who like lemon juice. So, 14 pupils like lemon juice. Can you tell how many pupils are there in all? The blue bars represent the number of males, while the pink bars represent the number of females. The blue bars indicate the number 6 males like orange, 6 like grapes, 8 like apples, and 8 also like lemon, a total of 28 males. The pink bars indicate the numbers 10 females like orange, 4 likes grapes and apple, while 6 like lemon with a total of 24 females. If there are 28 males and 24 females, therefore the number of pupils who join the survey are 52. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. To get more updated video lessons, don't forget to subscribe.